Iron March is the sixth episode of the 35th season of The Simpsons. This is directed by Matthew Fonin, and as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. In general, I quite liked it. It's not an all-time favourite, but it's a pretty good episode. Didn't care for the intro. We have a John Wick-style intro because I've never seen John Wick. It didn't mean anything to me, but it wasn't bad. Then there is a car crash, and Marge and everybody else... They all go outside and the other mothers start basically making fun of Marge. Her robe is stained and she just looks a little bit threadbare. And they're talking about how their children all give them robes for birthdays and Christmases and things. And Marge is happy with her handmade gifts. Maybe she's not as happy as she's pretending though. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. The subplot focuses on Homer and I'll just kind of talk about this just now and then wrap it up because I don't have too much to say. Homer downloads an app that allows him to alert others of dangers in the neighborhood and he wants to get to the number one spot in the leaderboard so he starts alerting people to all kinds of ridiculous things and he basically is spreading panic. But then Agnes Skinner wants to have the number one spot and they both run around Springfield trying to report things and initially I wasn't really liking this part of the narrative. I didn't dislike it. I just didn't care very much. But then they both fall into this sinkhole and Agnes Skinner starts choking and Homer is able to save her and he said, and I quote, this is the feeling I was after, not some stupid leaderboard. And I think that's a great message. I think people sometimes try to do the right thing, not because it's the right thing to do, but because they want to get brownie points for it. And that's exactly what was happening with Homer. So not a bad part of the episode, but I didn't necessarily love it too much. The main part with Marge I thought was pretty interesting. Marge has a birthday. And Bart and Lisa realise that actually maybe they shouldn't get her just homemade gifts this year. So they manage to get some money after doing some work for Flanders and they go to the store to buy her a new robe. Unfortunately, while they're there, they happen upon this junior spy kit, which just so happens to cost the same amount as the robe. And they go and buy the spy kit. And by signing up for credit cards, they won't get approved. But even just signing up, they get a free ironing board cover. And, well, they get two of them because they both sign up. And it's March's birthday and she unwraps the gifts. Homer gives her another charm bracelet charm, which <laughs> I feel like is very true. I don't have a charm bracelet. I, I used to when I was a teenager, but certainly not anymore. But I feel like if somebody buys you a charm bracelet, it's very likely that they're going to get you a charm for it for every year. So you better like it. That's exactly what's happening with Marge. She then opens the iron and board covers and she pretends to be grateful of course and then Lisa and Bart are playing with their spy kit and part of it allows them to hear things from a distance and they witness and overhear Marge crying to Ned Flanders about how she just feels like they don't even think of her as a person and Bart and Lisa realize that they didn't do a great job with her birthday and when Lisa said half tushied absolutely loved it. She asked Bart how he'd feel if Marge half tushied their birthdays and I rather enjoyed it. So they decide, and I thought this was pretty good, they decide to use the spy kit to break into her memory box to try and find out a bit more about her because they realise they don't know that much about her. And this didn't go the way I was expecting for multiple reasons. I thought when they broke into the memory box, they'd find something shocking or something that they shouldn't know about. That didn't happen and I don't have a problem with that. Just that's where I thought it was going. And they actually find some photos of Marge with this parrot. And I will say it's a little bit strange that Marge had those photos knowing what we ultimately know by the end of the episode. So that is a bit bizarre, but nevertheless, they decide to go and track down this parrot called Petey, and they do find the parrot. I liked the journey to get there. It wasn't too bad. And I was so excited to see how Marge would react when they presented Petey. And again, this, for two reasons, this didn't go the way I was expecting. They trapped Petey in the spy kit suitcase. Or briefcase, rather. And I thought when they revealed the bird to Marge, I thought it was going to be dead from the lack of oxygen. It wasn't. It was alive. I did not expect it to suddenly start attacking Marge and ripping into her hair. It turns out, actually, Petey was quite a violent bird. She'd wanted a cat, not a bird. And Petey was not a nice pet. So... 
part of me was a little bit unhappy that we didn't get this sudden rush of warm feelings from Marge when she saw the bird. But I guess the unpredictability made it entertaining. But what I did love is that Bart and Lisa were obviously upset that their plan to get Marge a gift she really liked hadn't gone according to plan. But I loved the fact that Marge realised they'd gone to all of this trouble to find the bird and that to her meant so much that they'd made so much effort and put in so much time trying to do something just for her happiness. And it, it is true that it's the thought that counts. And one may say, well, if it's the thought that counts, she should be happy with homemade gifts. But I think it's safe to say that when they give her homemade gifts, there's not a lot of thought going into it. So in general, I like this. I thought the main narrative was really interesting as a concept. It worked really well. And the subplot with Homer, it was fine. Not the most fascinating, but I certainly didn't mind it. Iron Marge will never be an all-time favourite. But that being said, I'd say it's a pretty good episode of The Simpsons.